Hi everyone, welcome to the demo on using the Vula 2020 course templates. There are a range of templates I would like to show you, but I'm first going to show you what the entire course template looks like. So what you're seeing on screen is the Vula course template preview. You can access this link in our help guide documentation. It's a public site for you to preview what the course template includes. Looking at the course template, it comes pre-populated with a number of course tools, uh, which of which some are hidden, and it comes pre-populated with content. So in this case, the overview page has some details on here for you to tweak or customize to your course. So we have a heading, we have a conversational bubble here, and then we have some suggested text that you need to customize, like for example, uh, linking to your course outline, or listing the various options that students have for course queries. And then we have the Vula help um, email address and phone number at the bottom. So you would get this page if you set up the course template, if you are creating a new website from scratch or a new course site from scratch. So the other page that we have that's pre-populated is the course outline page. For your course outline, you may be using a, a PDF or a Google Doc. Um, but this is another option if you would like so if you would like it. So we have a course outline page that has some important details that you should complete. So we have a heading, we just have a bit of instructional text here. We have um, the details for um, the course administrators and any other important information like um, administration or class representative. We have information about how communication will happen in the course. Um, we have information about the course structure and how the course will be divided into either themes, modules or weeks um, and the format the course will take. We have a little section on any um, core readings or textbook that is used for the course. We have a section on tests and assignments. Later you'll see there are two colored blocks. So the one is if there are any DP requirements for your course and how it's calculated, if, um, your final mark. And then we have a section on late submissions and penalties. And then lastly, we have um, the course dates or the course schedule. So if you're able to map out the entire course uh, against the semester, including what topic will happen each week and who will be lecturing those uh, modules, then it's great to have that all details for students. So yeah, this is the, the course outline page, which you can import into your site. We have the lessons template, which I'll go through separately later in this demo. It's a basic page that includes some essential information for setting up a topic or module of your course, like basic things like what are the key information around dates? How long should this module take? Are there any core read readings attached to this module? Um, are there any key activities that need to happen? Um, a section for you to put your content in, whether it's uh, narrated PowerPoints or PDFs or book chapters. Um, what are the assignments for the week? And then um, if there's any discussion forums or Q&As attached to this module, you can pop it over here. And then finally, we end with a, a checklist, which is a great tool for students to self-assess um, their progress for the module. If we scroll back up, we have another tab called Student Services. So the Student Services tab is um, pulled in from a central link that's on the home page of your Vula site before you sign in and includes very essential details for students to get help regardless of what they need, whether it's writing support, wellness support, library support. This is a great page to have in your course site readily available for students. So if you are starting a course site from scratch, you may want to import this entire template and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So what you want to do is go to your home on Vula once you are logged in. So click home. Then click the tab that says worksite setup, then click create new site. Click the button that says create site from template open the accordion and select 2020 course template. Select the term that you are creating your course for. 
and click go to raster selection. In this example, I don't actually have a core site, so I'm just going to click this over here, but you would typically select your department and course that applies to you. So I'm going to click still cannot find your course. I'm going to enter some random word and then click create site from template. You'll now have a little pop-up over here. Mine is not named that well, but don't worry about that. Yours will look different. And we now have an imported course template site that includes all of the tools on our left-hand side and includes the page templates, which I took you through a bit earlier. So now I want to take you through the process of importing these pages if you already have your course set up and don't want to start from scratch. So what we're going to need on our course site is a lessons page. So you go to site setup, manage tools, scroll down until you see the lessons button, click lessons and click continue. Um, you can rename it if you want to and click continue. We now have a lessons page, an empty lessons page. So I've already downloaded the page templates that I need for the site. Um, you'll find it in our lessons help guide and I'm going to show you how to import those files. So once you have your lessons page, you want to click the button that says more tools. Click the link import cc forward slash cp. Choose your files. So in this case, the course, for example, if I only wanted the course outline, or if I wanted both the lessons and course outline, I'll click that one, click open, click import. And you now have two page templates on your site. Next up, I want to show you the text editor templates. So in order to build your lessons page, we've made some templates that are easy for, for you to use and can be added through your text editor. So what you've seen on screen is the collection of different templates that you can use. So in this case, we have a module title. You will update that with the title of your topic. Um, we have a, a section header if you want to divide your page into different sections. If you want to have a little bit of a conversation with your learners, you can use this um, bubble over here. We have learning outcomes, key information, key activities. If you have a reading or a video, you can use this blurb with that. We have sections for assignments and for discussion forums. And then lastly, we have some extras. So if you want to highlight a key idea between the text on your site, if there's something really important or you want to warn students about. And then lastly, there's another one if you want to alert your students to something important. How do we build this page ourselves? Well, firstly, you want to add a lessons page or go to a blank page. So I set up a blank page earlier and we're now going to add some of those templates to our lessons page. So we go to add content, add text, and we have a little magical button over here called templates. So we want to click that button and we have a collection of the templates that I just covered. So we, for example, if I click this first one, we now have a module heading. So this could be module one, um, welcome or other introduction to Vula templates. If we click save, we now have a really nice heading for our page, but what else can we add? We might want to add some instructional text and we might click the template that says um, lecture conversation. We'll say hi, first name. So this first name bit is a bit of a, a cool thing. It actually will display the learner's first name while they are reading your page. You'll see that in a moment. So we'll replace this text and say, um, 
welcome to module one where we'll cover the introduction and then we can also select an image so if you are the lecturer for the week or the lecturer for the module you may want to upload a picture of your face I'm just going to use a picture of a cat. And now we have something that says hi Tasneem, which is pretty cool. Next up, we might want to add some learning outcomes. So we go back to templates and we click learning outcomes. And then we can change it as we like. Um, we might say discuss. Template. For example, so I've been adding the templates into different blocks, but you can actually add them in the same text editor. So I can go back to my templates and then click, for example, key information. And I can insert the date. So I could say it's from the 22nd to 30th of July and click save. So this is just a sample of how you can build your page using our templates. Obviously, you would continue to build the rest of your page, and then you should be able to duplicate your page. So once you have developed your page for module one, you actually may want to use the same structure for the upcoming module. So I might want to duplicate this page. And the way you do that is by going to more tools, add more pages, I might say call it module 2 and I say I want another three pages. Oh, sorry, I'll call it module 1. And then we say make new pages copies of the current one. And we now have three module pages ready for us to customize for our week. This enables consistency through the weeks for your learners Please note that when you do this duplication process, it does not duplicate sub pages and you will have to follow a slightly different process for that, which you can find in the help guide. So yeah, that's it. That's how you, you work with the Vula templates.